The neighborhood was closed off for several hours as police spoke with eyewitnesses. The fatal beating happened near Rainbow and Tropicana in the 6700 block of Mangrum Circle. The woman was found in an SUV in her driveway. Eyewitness News reporter Amanda Hernandez is live near the home. Amanda, do police know who was responsible? Well, yeah, right now police are saying that the suspect they're searching for is actually the victim's ex-boyfriend. His name is Jesus Munguia. He's described as a 32-year-old heavyset Hispanic male, about 5 foot 8 and 190 pounds. He is also the father of the victim's children. Neighbors stood in their yards in shock. A brutal murder carried out in front of a nearby home, and their only alert were the screams of children. I thought it's just kids playing and I didn't pay attention to it and then suddenly I see police cars and fire trucks. Another neighbor recognized the cries as one for help. And I heard screaming and then I heard kids chiming in saying mommy mommy and so I started walking over to see if what the problem was. She soon was on the phone with 911 helping police find the neighborhood and eventually the SUV where the 29 year old mother was killed. My neighbor says there's blood all over the place. You know. so it's, it's sad. Police believe a rock in the yard may have been used to break the vehicle's windows and then used to hit the woman in the head while her children hid inside the home. There were um, some other people around, some young kids, but at, at this point they're, they weren't involved in terms of, of being hurt or anything. Police say the suspect was the woman's ex-boyfriend and the father of her children. Police believe he came to the home to find her. It's our understanding that she lives here. Um, it's uncertain whether she lives there with somebody else or whether she owned the property. And the suspect came here looking for the victim. Now witnesses say they saw the suspects Jesus Munguia leave the scene in his car, and that's described as a white 1991 Honda Civic. Now, if you have any information on his whereabouts, you are urged to call Crime Stoppers at 385-5555. For now, we're reporting live. Amanda Hernandez, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Amanda, early this afternoon, some neighbors said they heard gunshots. Was a gun involved? Well, no, Paula, right now they're telling us, or rather the police are telling us that they do not believe that a gun was involved. Right now they're thinking that he picked up a rock, he broke out through the windows, and then he beat her with that rock. He may have even strangled her, but of course it will take an autopsy before we really know the truth there.